Hi, this is Jedi Steve, and I really didn't want to do this video, but I felt compelled to do it. Um, the George Floyd, Floyd situation, because I'm, I'm, I'm sick. It's not the only thing I talk about, and it's a small percentage, but it's 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 the same old story uh, uh, again and again and again um, with the pre police brutality. And I always try to, to look at these things from the middle. And I don't want to necessarily talk about what happened with George Floyd, but I want to talk about the protest. Because violence begets violence. And I believe the answer is compassion. And a lot of things like compassion and humility and vulnerability, people think as weaknesses, but they're strengths because we draw on them during weak times. We think I was weak, so I decided to draw and do this. So that's when we see this during weak times, but they're superpowers. And we should look to find compassion and vulnerability and humility during times of weakness, good times, bad times, in between times, all the time. And... What started off as a pre peaceful protest, because some bad apples, you could say some bad apples in the protest, just like some bad, bad apples in, uh, for police officers, they started to react with violence instead of responding with compassion. That's why art is so amazing and beautiful. Because I believe that this is unnecessary. And ultimately, if you want to have a cause to help this stuff not happen again, if you value life and you don't want this to happen again, you don't want to attack the people that could easily put you in checkmate. checkmate. It's just violence begetting violence be getting more violence. Going back to compassion, I believe compassion is the most productive energy in the universe. If you take the anger and the frustration and just 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 what you're feeling and you want to respond in a certain way, what you do is you take that anger and you combine it with love. And when I say love, I mean love for all mankind. Well, I just want to help on my side. That's what they're doing. When you have love for all mankind, then you move in a way that goes against violence. What's the create in your mind what the opposite of violence is? You move, start moving towards that instead of clinging to anger, clinging to violence. You start to create from here. A compelling future so go ahead and feel what that feels like compassion take that anger that you're feeling and combine it with love and I'm talking about pure agape love which is God's love which could be translated to you just like pure love for everything whether you whether you're not a believer or I'm, I don't consider myself a believer how they say it but I mean but you're not an atheist. Just that pure love. And even when I said they, like I was saying like they, different people that are that are doing it because I didn't want to be misinterpreted interpreted, but what I was there's judgment there and there's separation. So that agape love that includes everybody. Except for the fucking pedophiles. But I mean you I mean we want to help them so they it's not done again. But Compassion, when we move in certain ways, in positive ways, moving forward to create a compelling future, go ahead and feel that compassion and move from there. Nonviolent. So, a lot of these people that died over the years. 
and continue to, but hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it's stopped and won't happen anymore. And it's definitely becoming more and more limited, even though it's amazing and cold and callous sometimes what we have to see. But make sure that these men and sometimes children don't die in vain. Feel that compassion and try to understand, not justify, try to understand the other side. Know that, jo that job takes a lot of stress and create solutions and come up with ideas and try and reach out to lots of people, lots of different people to find solutions that transform the world. I've talked to several chief of police about some solutions I have. They haven't responded nearly in the way that I like, but I just use that energy to go and attract somebody that will listen. And I hope that person's you. Feel that compassion. And let's understand that we have a lot more control of what's going on. And we'll realize that once we let go of control. Peace.